The Commonwealth Realms Wreath is this beautifully designed motif created to capture flora and fauna of each country of the four nations of the United Kingdom and the 14 other countries which make up the Commonwealth Realm. But what's the story behind this wreath? Well, for that we have to travel back to 2007 and to Wales, home of Mr Flag, who was asked by one of their American customers to design a flag of Britannia. Now, Britannia is basically Britain depicted in human form, a female warrior holding a trident and shield, which now has the Union flag design on it. I could go into the whole story about how Britannia appeared on the Barbados flag, but instead I'll give you the link here to find out all about that. Anyway, back to the story. Mr Flag owner Charles Ashburner created an original design of Britannia seated, as she usually is, but found it too boring. His words, not mine. He decided to add Britannia to the centre of the Union flag, but still wasn't happy. No matter how many coloured discs or backgrounds Charles tried, nothing really worked. Charles then tried a different approach by adding a standard laurel wreath, but that looked all wrong as well. According to him, it either looked too much like a Roman-style concept, or as if it was an award of some kind. It was then that Charles put his creative skills to good use and came up with this original Commonwealth wreath design, which is still in use and offer today. As Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee approached in 2022, Charles decided it would be the perfect time for Mr Flagg to reinvigorate and reintroduce the wreath, this time adding more colour and redesign to specifically reflect the Commonwealth realms. It proved very successful, and recognising that Mr Flag as a company is too small to compete with the big importers of thousands of flags from countries such as China, with photos of the Queen, and following her death in late 2022, and along now with King Charles, Mr Flag took the position that their flags would always be proper looking, outdoor quality flags that they have become well known for. The funeral of Her Majesty resulted in customer requests to incorporate the new wreath into a few non-event specific designs, and then with the coronation of King Charles III resulted in more designs to be released, and as these are not specifically related to the coronation, can be used at any time. But what of the design itself? Well, this is the clever part, as this wreath is very detailed and very specific. We start with the English rose at the centre top of the wreath, and going clockwise, the thistle from Scotland, Wales's yellow daffodil, the silver fern of New Zealand, bamboo from St Lucia, cotton plants of St Vincent and Grenadine, this beautiful and red green star shaped Ponciana from St Kitts and Nevis, Australia's golden wattle, the seven red roses of Grenada, the incredibly spectacular bird of paradise from, of course, Papua New Guinea, Antigua and Barbuda's pineapple and hibiscus, which incorporates the pineapple of Jamaica, the banana of Tuvalu, the conch from the Bahamas, which also appears on their flag, Solomon Islands turtle, flax of Northern Ireland, the instantly recognisable maple leaf of Canada, and finishing with the mahogany of Belize. The Commonwealth Realms wreath, as we've seen, comes with various backgrounds, and as it's designed by Mr Flag owner Charles Ashburner himself, it means that you won't find this design anywhere else on the planet. And should you want your own Commonwealth Realms wreath flag or flags, click on the affiliated links in the description below. And to discover the national flags that make up the Commonwealth Realm, well, this is the video for you. The Commonwealth Realms wreath... Co Commonwealth Realms wreath... Com the Commonwealth Realms wreath... Oh, Commonwealth Realms wreath.